Well, thanks for staying with us. And Lynn, you know, for, for a very long time, and I'm very proud of this, as a school district, um, we value very highly service learning. Yes. Um, learning that, um, that's, that's relevant to serving, really, the community um, at large, and in particular, um, people who are, who are in need uh, for, for a variety of, of reasons and situations. But what's really cool about one of the service learning things that, that's happening in the district, and, and specifically at Kingwood High School, is um, that this service learning has been tied to, expressed through art. And we've got some amazingly talented art students um, right. at Kingwood High School. We really, really do. And that is due in large part to one of our amazing art teachers, Erin Leatherwood. Erin, it's great to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you, too. And thanks for being here. Absolutely. And you brought um, two pretty amazing art students with you, yep. Haley Hefner. Haley, thanks for being with us. Thank you. And Travis Brulard. Travis, thank you, too. Thank you. Well, Aaron, let me start with you. So talk a little bit about, for everyone's um, kind of information, an overview of um, not so much the art program, but how service learning um, has found its way into the art classroom and into our art program. Absolutely. Um, well, I, uh, I wanted to to incorporate service learning into my curriculum. It's something I'm passionate about um, and just feel that it's really important. Um, I especially feel that it's important to give back to a community that, that fosters your success. Um, Kingwood has been such a good, good, wonderful place to live and um, I just feel that it, um, it was important to give back to that community. So that was um, something that I incorporated into this project with them. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, and it's nice to have students be able to use their talents because a lot of times kids think, what can I do that can help people? But art, art is something that can raise everybody's spirits and, and can affect your mood even. Mm -hmm. So I know, Haley, you have something on your lap. Tell yes. us a little bit about how you participated in the project and what you did. Um, I did a service project at my church and um, when I got this assignment I knew that this was coming up. It was around Christmas time and a lot of kids whose families were struggling financially got to come in and have a meal and get to see a show with a clown and it was funny and and then when they got back on the bus, they got to get a present, and that's what I was a part of. I got to put the presents and assign them to the kids and kind of match them up with what I thought the kids would like. So. Oh, that's really sweet. I know the kids loved it, too. Yes, they were really excited. How many were involved? Do you know? Tons. There was over, I think, 2,000 between our churches with families and stuff. Wow. And then each kid received a present when they got back on the bus. Oh, oh my that gosh, is that's great. awesome. And you know, for, for that moment in their life, what a difference you made. It did. It's a I bright mean, spot for them. Yes. Travis, how about you? What were you involved with? Well, I went around uh, Kingwood and I collected a bunch of like recyclable material and I tore it up and kind of made it into an art project. And it, it really just, when I was finding all this trash, I wasn't expecting there to be that much around Kingwood. But after going through the trails and the streets and all, I kind of just, I knew this is what I wanted to do. So. Really? So what kind of art project did you create? I created uh, like a rose with like grass and I kind of made it out of like uh, plastic bags, uh, dipping up like yeah. the little things. And then I would cut up like plastic card or, and cardboard that I would find and I would just I just that's how I created the texture of it and it, what? it all just started coming together. It was kind of like a three-dimensional painting. Wow, like a, I'd love yeah, to see that yeah, too. Yeah, it's really interesting, yeah. That's awesome. That's a great idea. Great idea. Well, and how great. I mean, how cool is that? So instead of all of those materials yeah. being placed forever in some landfill, it now becomes a, a work of art that, that lots of folks can enjoy forever. I mean, for, for a long, long time. And the great thing about it was that this project, you know, I kind of wanted to try it out first, see how things went, and these kids kind of just took it upon themselves and came up with their own really great ideas about how to give back to the community 
and about how to incorporate that into an art project, incorporate yeah. their experience into the art project. So that was initially what they, they were supposed to do was was give their time and then incorporate that into their, their art project. And they I gave them the freedom to choose and they, they really went with it and it was just really successful. The results were, were amazing and extraordinary. So They're very creative. Absolutely. But going into an art program, you pretty much have a creative bent anyway, wouldn't you say? Well, these are actually Art One students. So they wow. are this is their very really? first yeah, very first art class. Wow. Um, wow. yeah. And so they're That's they're very impressive. Hopefully going to go into the advanced art programs, but um, but they're very yeah very successful. I chose these two students because they they were very successful with this project and in my class. Gosh, art one. So <laughs> That's amazing. I'm not putting you on the spot. So is there going to be an art two, for you, for for you, Travis? I think so. Okay. I think so. Yes. Okay. And, and Haley, you're yes, you're shaking your definitely. head. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Your mom will be so happy to have <laughs> artwork. Both of you can just create things for the house. And Travis, you can go around and clean up Kingwood. <laughs> if you continue to do that kind of project, we'll be the cleanest city in the area. Everybody will be so grateful. And the most artistic. And the most artistic. Yeah, Tell artistic. us what's coming up next year. Uh, Dr. Sconzo mentioned projects next year, and I know you want to continue this. So yes. do you have any special plans? Um, you know, one thing, um, I know we can make an even bigger impact. I really do. Um, we, you know, we were already really successful with this project. Um, you know, maybe possibly doing it both semesters. We only did it the first semester. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, doing something um, also the second semester as as well. Um, I'd also like to focus on being in better touch with some of the businesses that um, that the students chose to do their, their time with, to do their right. service learning oh, with. Right. Um, I think that that would really kind of bring it bring it all together. Um, but yeah, definitely, maybe even, you know, show it, ha have a gallery showing of these pieces because there were I think that's a great really idea. Really great pieces. So yeah. Yeah. Um, lots of lots of different things. We'll definitely be doing it again. Maybe sell some of them for to benefit the um, projects that you're working with. Absolutely. That's absolutely. That's great. Yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you all so much for doing this. This is this I, I mean, it just feels fills me with pride. I mean, it's it's, it's just a, it's a great thing because service is very, very important. Yeah. Very important. Thank um, you so much for having us. Oh, no, you are very, very welcome. So, Travis, I'll look for you in our class next year. <laughs> I'm teasing. And Haley, thank you again thank uh, for you. being with us. Yeah. You guys are very lucky, you know, you, you got to work with a, a pretty phenomenal teacher. So, and thank you. And Eric, congratulations on the new baby. Thank you. Uh, that, that's coming and, and, um, and for sure I hope to see you. Absolutely. Uh, you okay. will. <laughs> Good deal. Thank you again. Y'all stay with us and we'll be right back.